Yeah, I have to agree. That's, um, it's not great. I would have been a lot worse, though, if I wasn't there. I will say Bye -bye. that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll attend. It's raining, not many other options, anyway. Not that I need expression anymore. You're back. <sighs> I'm gonna hang out with Dojima mm -hmm. again, I think. Oh, I guess I should go solve Riddle Guy's Riddle. Morning, senpai. Yo. So are you ready for the trip yet? This guy won't shut up about it. I honestly forgot about the trip. I was busy dealing with family matters. <laughs> Yosuke senpai hasn't even started packing. He's all like, was that tomorrow? What's up with that? You are way too excited about this. I mean, you're even worried about how many boxes of animal crackers to bring. We're only gonna be there for two nights, dude. Besides, I'm pretty sure they have convenience stores in Port Island. Are serious? I've never really left this place, so... Huh. I wonder if the murders here got as much play over there, too. Like that Mitsuo Kubo dude. They're still showing him on TV here. Every time I switch on the tube, the news is showing, like, what he wrote in his yearbook. <laughs> Pisses me off, man. The freaking media slapping together anything they can find to make the dude look like a born criminal. People think they can say anything they want about a guy who's been branded a criminal. It's just not right. I mean, I still hate the guy's guts, but I don't know. After getting involved with all this, I started to realize how off-base most rumors are. Yeah. It's so messed up. Well, I gotta admit, the news can be pretty out there. Hey, it's Naoto. Yo, how's it going? I'll check. Oh, it seems to have stopped. Let me know if it starts Good up morning. again. Oh, yeah. I I'm on duty today. <laughs> well, see you later. 
It was only like that for like a uh, quarter of a second, but yes, it did drop to that. <sighs> He's the messed up one. <laughs> Senpai. That's so. Okay, we have options today. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to Riddle Guy. Still happening? Nah, I was worried about that. I'll do Riddle Guy and then I'll s see if it's still going. Yeah, okay, alarm clock's motorized, yeah. Oh, okay, there's more of it. Alright, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Okay, if it starts up again, I'll probably just cut stream, but... Gorilla in A, Elephant in B. with an egg beater. Gorilla and coffee maker. Um, group B. <laughs> They're all Jarens. Um... Not number of syllables because gorilla and elephant have the same amount. Yeah, Blanche is not a gerund, exactly. Uh, what it was gorilla and coffee maker so it's not number of syllables based off egg beater and unless in some wild world gorilla has four syllables yeah it's it's got to be indefinite articles Sir, let me look at my quest real quick. I still never figured that out. Right, I have to work on that. At home. Need the cat again. Avalanche could be a verb. That's true. Alright, uh, it's been like a million years. Hi, Yukiko. Oh. Don't mind me.
Just says she doesn't want to do this, so let's not. Uh, questioning her seems weird. Just chill. Huh? You're willing enough, that works. I appreciate it. Points for boldness, huh? Oh, welcome back. <laughs> yep, something like that. Sure, I'll do this full trip. I'll cut after this full trip, though. Wow, what's up with this place? This school's way too big. Wait. If we can't beat them on size, we're totally sunk. Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution and the reasons for its establishment. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Oh, is this principal in love with his own voice or what? Chie, he'll hear you. <coughs> Our school is closed today. But uh, because of this rare opportunity for cultural exchange, some of our students will walk you through these halls. First, though, a student body representative will say a few words. Thank you, Principal. Welcome to Gekko-kan High School. My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third-year student and the student council president here at Gekko-kan. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap! That girl's unbelievable! <sighs> okay, oh, okay. Right. She is cute. I gotta say, She's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. 
To learn about others is to learn about oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. This I believe. To ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. She beat me in every category. All right. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. Oh, no. Excuse me, could I bother you for a moment? This is today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? I forgot to do it myself. Sorry to be so disorganized. And you all came so far. No, I'm still struggling. Even with everyone's support, I'm barely pulling through. I used to get nervous very easily, and I once had a phobia of men, too. In fact, I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. She was the president my first year here, and she was amazing. I always looked up to her. So much information. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. I have some arrangements to make with your student council, so please excuse me. Did I just hear Probably. her say special lecture? We came all this way to be lectured? Let's see, our class is... It's being taught by someone named Mr. Etagawa. The lecture's about... Kabbalah. Kabbalah what? You don't know? It's a casino. <laughs> So, when's our free period? Uh, ooh, we don't get one. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow we'll be staying at a hotel. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I'm very well aware. Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now, so we can enjoy our free time later. <laughs> it's funny how they just, like, kind of... Like, well, we don't know, so sure. Meeting is only the beginning stage of parting the Alpha and the Omega. My name is Edogawa. Mm. Where are your partings? Isanagi and Izanami. Barrier between the two worlds and gone away unharmed. Doesn't have eyes, that's true.
anything now, which means to invite. People decorate with flowers, yep. Seaside Clamshell Inn. We'll be staying here tonight. Is this really a regular hotel? So, what do you think? It was me who found this place. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Modern, huh? Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. We're staying here? I mean, the sign says hotel, but... It opened recently. Dude, this totally looks like a love... You there, don't just stand there. Keep marching in. Isn't there something funny about this place? Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I can't tell. Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and it's... That's all right, Rise. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Faster than I expected. This is quite the hotel. If they were to meet me, I wonder, what would the look on Yosuke's face be? Who's that? Oh, come on. You know who that is. Look, up there! <gasps> it can't be. <laughs> Teddy? What are you doing here? I guess we're about to find out. The lonely bear inside of me went stir-crazy! If only I could detect people in the real world. How'd you get here? Do you have some special ability? Eh, I took the train. I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Juness. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it. I already know. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I mean, why wear the bear suit here? Teddy Port. He used he used the TV world, right? And got just exited a TV somewhere here. I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chi-Chan made to go on a date with me. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Uh, good job, Teddy. <laughs> did, did I promise that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. Whee! You remembered, Chie chan Is it okay with Yuki-chan and Rise-chan, too? Let's all go together, then. Is that all right with you? Hmm. It's a deal. I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. I guess we can go shopping first, and I know a great place we can hit later on. Ooh, shopping! That sounds great! <laughs> the other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just gonna go wherever the school recommends. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. All right, we're in two. Would dare try to throw a life-sized bear in the trash? <laughs> yeah, especially when that moves, right? <laughs> Leave it to me. 
Now, before the fun starts, we gotta deal with this guy. Can't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Cruelty to animals? You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here. I took the slow train all this way. Do you hear? The slow train. Good. Now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? Yeah, you're right. No one would do. No one would try to put the bear in their pocket either. What's the matter? Oh, what's this giant teddy bear? My, you must have some nimble fingers. <laughs> oh boy. All right, now hurry on inside with it. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. I'm impressed by how just how still Teddy can stand. Like, look how everyone else is, like, you know, moving a little bit. Teddy's just, like, literally a statue. But, uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights, or your bed will start spinning. <laughs> Woman, calm down. Anyways, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm exhausted. For so many reasons. Oh, sure. 